may not know this, but March is Women's History Month, and this year's theme is Women's Education, Women's Empowerment. Two influential women in education, research, science, and medicine will be honored this weekend at the annual Congress on Women's Health. Health pioneer, the late Dr. Bernadine Healy, and her colleague, Dr. Vivian W. Pinn, who received the organization's first Dr. Bernadine Healy Award. Dr. Bernadine Healy was the first woman to lead the National Institutes of Health and the first physician to lead the American Red Cross. She died of brain cancer in 2011. The Congress on Women's Health Award in her name recognizes Dr. Healy's foresight promoting women's health as a high national priority. It's fitting that the first Healy honoree is her colleague and one-time teacher at Harvard, Dr. Vivian W. Pitt. I was so surprised and just felt so honored because Bernadine Healy was a real star to me and, and one who really helped make this part of my career possible. This part of Dr. Penn's career was as the first full-time director of the then newly created Office on Women's Health at NIH. Women's Health is really considered pretty much uh, within the realm of obstetrical and gynecological uh, work. Dr. Pin says it wasn't until the 1990s that the scientific community acknowledged the scientific differences between the sexes in how research was conducted and clinical trials designed. Research was the foundation for how health care is practiced and therefore to really make a difference in women's health, research was the key for changing public health standards and public health practices. She retired from NIH last fall, but has spent the past months packing up a nearly 50-year career as a medical doctor, educator, and research scientist. The Lynchburg, Virginia native also keeps busy as a role model and career mentor to countless physicians and scientists, especially women and minorities. It's the role her dad filled for her as she faced discrimination to become the only woman and only African-American to graduate UVA Medical School in 1967. Whether it's mentoring, counseling, advising, or friendship, or just support of being there is one of the most important things for advancement and career success regardless of what field you're in. In 1987, Congress officially declared March as National Women's History Month. To learn more about how it all began and the National Women's History Project, go to nwhp.org.